guys welcome back and if you're new here thanks so much for stopping by on this channel i share my planning system and to chat about stationery and just a couple other things that i enjoy on occasion i do share some writing and lifestyle content so if any of that interests you i hope you would consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up it would really help my channel to grow so it's been a minute actually it's been four months <laughs> And um, life has been really lifing. Life has been doing what it does best, lifing and lifing and lifing. I'm just really just trying to stay on the ride and not fall off. Um, I am back here on YouTube. I've been gone for about four months or so, but I'm here now again, trying to put up some new content and also wanted to welcome the new subscribers that have joined this channel. Thank you so much for for joining us do appreciate you appreciate everybody anyone that takes a moment to watch my video thank you so much um so i wanted to catch you guys up with what i've been dabbling in as of late i've kind of been on like a planner craze just trying out a whole bunch of different planners new planners reviving old planners really just trying to figure out what i'm trying to do for 2025 just trying to make sense of it and um, through this journey, I've picked up a few items that I am very much interested in using for the next year. Kind of just testing things out, testing the waters, seeing, you know, if things will work for me. So I wanted to show you guys that. Um, in front of me, I have two picks that I'm going to be more than likely using for the rest of this quarter, possibly into the new year. This is my B6ology which I've actually used before. This is actually from 2022. And I've had some pages left in the back. Just wanted to, I don't know, I just got in the mood to want to fill the rest of the pages up. So I'm using this. And then I have a newbie here. This is the Commit 30 Planner, which is super, super new for me. I've seen this planner on YouTube, Instagram for years, and just now tried it out for myself so um and it's been really really fun i've been having a lot of fun playing around with this thing using it for using it for planning but also for memory keeping and just day-to-day -day jot downs and things like that but i'll talk more about that when i do a little flip through so uh first things first let's start with the b6 i have it in this um what do you call this i always get this word taupe taupe yes taupe taupe moterm uh this is like the zip cover from moterm so i have it in here which i really really truly adore i'm loving these like tawny or like browns and tan colors mixed with a little bit of pinks i don't know i've just been feeling that kind of vibe lately so everything is kind of in that kind of range but yes i'm using this b6 allergy it's a older allergy that i had for a while back i told you like maybe 2022 i'm not gonna do a flip right now because it's just it's just a lot to get into but um and i and would like to say that the b6 zip up like this whole situation is very travel friendly i've been taking this with me to like doctor appointments and just out and about and it's very helpful <laughs> Like, I like it. Like, I can store a couple of things in here. I can even put my iPad, my iPad mini 6 can go in here with a Stylogy book. I can't zip in it all the way, but if I needed, like, all of those things in there, I could definitely make that a whole thing if I wanted to. But anyway, just want to show you guys what I've been doing for this week. Um, same thing that I've always done in all my other notebooks, like my Loistra notebooks. I've even tried Midori notebooks, which are kind of new to my planning system. I'm telling you guys, I was like on a real true planner craze, trying everything out and just really trying to see what I like and what works. But um, bringing back my old system from my Loistra notebooks. Oh, I don't have a Loistra notebook. I wanted to show you guys just my typical system that I do for like my everyday planning. But pretty much this is what is it. I did leave a few things out. I may bring a few things back next week. I don't know. I just have to see how I feel. And that's what I love about just a plain notebook is you just do what you want. There's no layout. So you can kind of just, just have your way with it and do whatever. Not do something. Do it again. Bring it back. 
revive it, stop doing it entirely, not use a notebook at all and do something else. It's up to you. But anyway, um, so I have my weekly to-do list here. I usually put a weekly to-do, like a task list, a to-buy list and whatever bills are due for the week. I like to see all of that up front. It's like my weekly plan. That's what I like to call it. Um, sometimes it's a whole bunch of things. Sometimes it's not much. Sometimes there's nothing up there. But I do like to have this up in the front of the week so I can look at as a snapshot of what I need to get to for the week. And then I just have a little quote. I'm not a quote. This is a Bible scripture, James 1.5, that I was reading on and like and like to put in my notebook. Usually when I'm reading my Bible and I see a scripture, I'll jot it down and throw it in my notebook or my planner or write it in my planner so I can kind of focus on that throughout the week. And that's what I did here. This is some vellum that I got from Amazon, from Amazon, and I just printed a nice little background from Canva that I saw that I that I like the aesthetic of. And just cut it down, put it in, try to make it look look kind of cute. And then um, one new thing that I've done. I don't know if you guys remember from previous videos that I like to do like the journal prompts, you know, with the daily pages. So instead of writing them out in my notebook, I went on Pinterest and I found a, like a, a screenshot, like one of the pins of journaling prompts. And I thought this was, this was a really cool idea for me to just laminate it and throw it in my notebook and anytime I want to do a journal prompt, which is something that I truly love to do, <laughs> I get in the mood to just do a journal prompt. Um, I could just pick this up and pick one and journal it out, use it. I thought that was pretty cool. So I cut it down to size, laminated it, put some other paper. I don't even know where I got this from. I know this was, I don't even know. I don't even know, <laughs> but the journaling prompts are from Pinterest. I'll try to leave a link to this, this exact prompt. And yeah, I thought that would be pretty cool. I, I like to usually do my journaling prompts in the morning when I have when I have a spare moment. Sometimes my mornings are crazy, but sometimes I'm able to get up early enough and just really have a slow morning before I have to start work. So I have my weekly habits, my typical weekly habits that I always do. This week I'm tracking water, vitamin D, any anxiety, Spanish, um, journaling, reading, fitness, walking, daily text, Bible reading, and skincare. So that's that. And then I have my, <clears throat> excuse me, my food log for the week. And I've been doing a really good job tracking my food as of lately because I've ha I really have to, and um, just really making it a thing. <laughs> Trying to be more proactive about what I'm eating so that I can make better decisions. And sometimes it's hard <laughs> because some things I wanna eat and I really can't. And I got some test results back from my doctor. They're not terrible, but they could be better. So I need to really monitor what I'm eating, really got to cut down a lot of the saturated fats. And um, that was pretty much it. Just really cutting down the saturated fats, kind of like slimming down on the dairy products, you know, the cheese, the ice cream, you know, all the good stuff. Kind of got to like park it a little bit um, to focus better on my health. And it's important. Um, so that's what I've been doing. So this is it for the week. Just a simple layout. Just a simple layout. And, and then I have my gratitude tracker. I do enjoy doing my gratitude in the morning. Um, kind of like right after I do my journaling prompts. Or sometimes I'll do my journaling prompt and then I'll do the gratitude. I really like that. Um, just writing down three things that I'm grateful for each day. Just making sure I do that because... It's important to really sit and be humble and say, hey, what are the things that I'm grateful for? Those things kind of ground us and mm -hmm. remind us and, you know, can bring peace to our life. So I like to make sure that's something that I'm including in my notebooks, planners, or whatever it is that I'm using. Okay, and then this is just a little quote that I found off of Pinterest, or it may have been Google Images. I'm not sure. 
I don't remember exactly, but it's that. And then here's a weekly overview for the week, just different things that I have to focus on. Um, just some more, just like pictures, pretty things just to add in the planner. And then my daily pages for the week. And then what I've been doing was leaving this page or a couple of sheets after that for just journaling, brain dumping, like whatever I need to do for the rest of the week. So that's it for the B6 and then 30 commit. I mean, commit 30. <laughs> I knew I was going to say it wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm new, still new using this planner. So I'm going to have things not the right way. But anyway, this is the Commit 30 Planner, and it's a, I believe this is the deluxe size, so it's 7 by 10. 7 by 10, they do have a standard size, which is like a A5-ish kind of size. I went with this size. I like the bigger real estate for me to write, things like that. So I'll just show you a quick flip. So, of course, I'm going to decorate and put stuff, things that I like, butterflies, flowers, floral, all that. Um, some more vellum in the front, a couple of little butterflies there at the bottom. And then they have like this beginning page, the commit, you know, commit 30. So each month you're supposed to commit to a, a challenge of something that you want to work on for the month. It could be reading, writing, it could be no coffee, it could be planning, it could be journaling, it could be no shopping, it could be no spending, taking better care of your health, practicing more self-care, practicing gratitude. Practicing kindness, starting a novel, like just finding something that you want to work on for the month and sticking to it, actually committing to it. And I think that's a really good idea behind this planner. And it's one thing that actually attracted me to buy the planner for myself. So really, really into that. And then I just have a little collage of my family the spread. And then these, this page is like the goal setting page or the, I think they call this the vision page. Cause there's like a couple of steps that you do within the planner step one step two i think up to three steps um and this is like step one make your vision out so they give you like these aspects in your life to work on so you get about um i think it's 12, 4, 8, 12. yeah you get 12 different things that you can work on uh different just different things physical health mental health family friends your marriage if you're married spiritual health career different things um i picked out a few things that i wanted to focus on. I also added, just tipped in like my why for why I want to work on these things. Just when the going gets kind of tough, just looking at my why and remembering what was the purpose in starting this anyway. Something simple to keep me going. And a little scripture, a little smiley face, just little things to make the plan of fun. Um, here, I think this, yeah, so this is the step two. This is the part where you, for each month, you would set out your monthly goals. But for me, this is an undated planner. And I started this planner well late into the year, October. So I'm not gonna use this for any of that. It just, and then I don't know what to use this for. So I just covered it up with some things that I wanna focus on for October. Um, and, and this is the, this is a <laughs> little dashboard that I made to put my notepads i'm sorry i'm thinking of something at the same time while i'm trying to focus like i hear the kids and i'm just like trying to focus at the same time okay so this is a dashboard that i made to put my sticky notes on i like putting sticky notes also on planner it's very helpful use it for reminders for food shopping lists appointment dates all, all kinds of things numbers all kinds of things and then this is something else that i printed printed offline and then I believe these are the monthly. So you get a sheet and then like you get like this quote and then the monthlies and the weeklies to follow. And that's how the rest of the planner will go. And so this is the 30 day challenge spread where you can track, you know, the thing that you want to work on for the month. For me, I started this month or well, started this challenge late in the month on the 14th. I wanted to track my Bible reading for the rest of the month. So that's what I decided to focus on and you can put your goal as well. And then this is a monthly spread. Mine is undated, so it doesn't come with any numbers or anything like that. I did have to write them in myself. 
And then this is the weeklies. Um, I've been using my weeklies to memory keep, track, plan things, uh, write stuff in that I don't want to forget, and also just to play around and have fun. I really use this for whatever I want. I don't really make it structured or hard or forced. I just have fun with it. And doing that, I have more enjoyment out of this planner, especially because it's new and like I wasn't sure how I was going to go about using it. So that was helping a lot. Yeah. So this is um, uh, October 6th. And then this was last week, I believe. Yeah, this was last week. And this is this week that I'll probably, as the week goes on, I'll fill in more things, find more stuff to write about, more memories to jog down, and things like that. And then this is the rest of the planner. So you see it comes with that uh, dot grid sheet here. You get a nice quote, which I really like. I love the aesthetic of this, this black and then the, the tan on it. It's really pretty. And then... um. You get your commit challenge, your monthly goals, and action steps, your um, monthly, and then your weeks. You get five weeks in each planner, in each planner, five weeks in each month. And that's how the entire planner goes all the way to the end. And then at um, the back, there are some notes. I just decided to just tip in some like writing challenges that I wanted to work on for 30 days, a poetry challenge, gratitude challenge, just different things. Um, but they do give you some blank sheets. Not a lot, not a lot. I think I counted maybe 15 or 19 or something like that. It wasn't a whole lot of stuff. Um, I would have liked more note pages at the back, but it's fine. I have a plain notebook that I can use. And then you get this really cool envelope at the back of the planner, a nice ribbon, and a closure for you to close your plan up close your plan up if you wish bada bing bada boom that is what it is and that is what i have been doing as of late guys and i've really been enjoying it like it's it's been working out i'm trying different things I'm not really making it a thing of what i'm trying just dabbling in stuff and seeing what i am like liking <laughs> if that makes any sound of sense but um thank you so much guys for joining me today if you like this video be sure to leave a thumbs up and if you haven't already i hope you would consider subscribing it's the best way to get notified whenever i post i know this video was kind of short today but i do have some more content coming up more plan with me's journal with me's um some unboxing some amazon hauls all that kind of stuff i will be showing in the near future so if you are interested in seeing that, come on back. Um, until next time, keep creating, stay inspired, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.